this is it. A perfect map to start off the tournament. We could just get an out-and-out -out brawl between both of these teams. Fallen looking at his teammates, waiting with the smoke in hand in the T-spawn while the rest of them are setting up and execute into the A-bomb site. Shox is in position with a USP ready to click some heads if he gets the opportunity. Should be a good chance here. There's not going to be that many nades. Maybe some flashes to follow it up. They run deep. Ring goes down. Apex with the opening kill of the tournament. And it's a four on four. They're trying to get onto the bomb site, trying to get that quick bomb plant while they're pushing CT spawn. I think it's a great idea. But the Kyojin, he's already taken one. Saiwu's shown up. He's going to get one more. And Elise now fighting on his own with a Glock. And actually, he might have brought it back. It's a two-on-two two now and a chance to turn it around. What a triple kill for Elish here. Now it's just all on Saibu and he's going to go fight them out in the open. He only gets the one. And that's what I really wanted to see here out the gates from Liquid. Just aggressive play, looking for fights, counting on your hard carries to get the job done. And that's what we saw now. So in the pistol, it's a perfect start for Liquid and, well, early smoke to just get some room to work with here in mid. And <laughs> Vital like Apex just zipping all over the place with that scout. Doesn't save him, though. Stewie with the insta-kill. All right. So already man advantage here for Liquid going into the follow-up round. And if they can get the anti-eco round clean, this is going to be as good a start as Liquid could hope for on Mirage. Ooh, did he try to body block it there? I think he Ooh. did. Did he actually do that? Yeah, that was sick. That is in. That takes some skill. You can hear it because it bounces on top of the roof of connector, uh, and it actually bounces, I think, more than once. So you, maybe you can do that if you're quick enough. But that is some heads-up play. All right, second round here. It's a bit of an attempt from Masuta, but he's gonna get shot down. Shocks though. He'll find one and another headshot. Kyojin finding two in a row. That is such a good return into the round, and it's another two-on-two two here to try and see if they can. Maybe clutch it again, Liquid. They're going to get the bomb plant at the very least, but Shox is still alive. He's got another Deagle. He's going to get caught. And actually, that was Kyojin. Mm. So now it's just on Shox. Oh, it's going to be so hard to pull this off. He had to hit the perfect headshot there to this match that, uh, you know, he said that Kyojin underperformed at the major and that really, you know, he is, he is kind of struggling to show that individual level that I think Vitality brought him onto the team in the first place to show, you know, right? He, he had some crazy highlight for ag reels coming onto Vitality. Yes. You know, he's, he's got the aim. It's just a matter of showing that in officials. It's true. Well, I think Maniac's right. This is the chance for it, right? Three to one of the bad way odds there. Um, still in favor of uh, Vitality, or at least so far. They haven't really done much to change anything yet. It is early on, so I'm not really surprised. Deep Molotov, that's actually perfect. Right on top, that forces them out. And with Stewie pushing the apartments at the same time, it just couldn't get any better. So a bit more of a relax. I like it. <clears throat> that's something that I feel like a lot of other, a lot of other sort of the CIS scene. We've obviously seen it with Bit and someone like Monsi. We've got all these players that are sort of that have been inspired, and and are, are now coming up to play at the high level. Mm -hmm. I feel like I need more of that out of the French scene because I mean, the population of France is massive. I was about to guess, but I, I, is, is it's it like, like eighty million or something. Uh, I was, yeah. I, was, I, was, I was gonna say seventy, but okay. Hey, you were far. So so we've got a lot of people. Uh, we've got a long, proud, I think, tremendous history of Counter-Strike yeah. going way, way, way back, right? There's always been impressive French Counter-Strike players. So, I, you know, you want that next generation, and not that they have to replace everyone on the Vitality or anything, but just it'd be so cool if there was, uh, if there was more talent scouting going on in that region because they've got to be out there. Well, pray for the Pones. That's it. <laughs> I mean, dude, it's amazing that those guys have not found an org yet, right? Like, it, just, it just speaks to it. But I'm glad that they're still in the mix as a roster and still, you know, trying to survive in the online hell that is uh, online qualifiers, right? <laughs> Ruthlessly <laughs> brutal. And uh, it's just not fun. But they're still in that grind. Nice little boost here from Shoxy on short. Catches Stewie at bench. Man advantage now for Vitality. Hoping to get on the board here in this round. Ooh, they're, gonna uh, go they're going back, back. again. Yeah, because they hear the smoke going up and they think, well, fine. If they smoke it off, maybe they won't even check a second time. They'll find Apex and Saibu as well. Grim with a good kill there. It's now a back to a two on two again, but they will get the bomb plant one more time. Naf is taking that long range fight. That could have been fairly risky. Could have left his teammate in a one versus two. But when he wins the fight instead, it's going to work out fine. Misuta now. One versus two. He's got plenty of time to sneak in. I kind of don't blame him for going for this one, even if they are going to lose everything if they lose the round here. Miss Suteri's going to walk right in front, and Grim will take him down. Back and off. Let's go. You know, who's going to actually win this duel? And to take on Shoxi and win like that, okay then, Naf. Speaks to some confidence. And right now, Liquid, I mean, this is, this is the best that we can hope for for Liquid. 
4-0 start. Everybody taking duels and winning them. They're hitting their shots. Uh, this is this is the best that we've seen Liquid in what feels like forever. What? <laughs> I'm gonna need to see the replay from Kyojin's point of view. He just blew him out of the sky. That's that was Give gross. Kyojin a deagle from now on. Don't even let him buy a rifle. Because I mean, he's had three kills, all of them with deagles, right? Yeah, he's. Or no? Am I reading that? Five kills. Okay, so never mind. Three of them with deagles. Yeah, he's on that stuff right now. It's 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 perfect. It's so weird how that works sometimes. Because obviously, in the real world, you're you're really not just going to be buying a deagle. But sometimes you do feel like some players just you know have more of an impact with it. Forward position for shocks. He's not hearing anything either in the A apartments or down at the A ramp. Masutra and Cyber are going to be put to the test. There. They're just going to be jumping right down here and with only pistols to defend. Oh, Cyber! I said it too soon. Big headshots coming through. He's finally going to go down, but that was impressive. Apex and shocks are left, and that scout does some damage. Now it's on Fallen to try and see if he could clutch it one versus two. So. A lot of these rounds have been two on twos that Liquid have just won. Mm -hmm. Vitality, they could maybe pick this one up. Oh, and the passive play as well from Vitality. They know that Fallen has to kind of try and make a play here. So just holding mega passive out of the angle. Fallen would have to really commit. And now the bomb out in the open as well on short. Fallen should get spotted here in a moment. Not sure. I think he did see him. Oh, he's <laughs> way in the middle. It's done. I feel like he couldn't understand. I oh, don't understand. Freaks when it comes to pistols. I was just too good at it. But I'm convinced. I'm glad to see Kyojin. I'm convinced when you make your Steam account and download Counter Strike now that it just it has like a random seed on the deagle and you either get a good or a bad one. I, ah. I refuse to think ah. it's just in. It must be something. Oh, <laughs> great. Is that it too? Oh, that's a nope. He does get the tag on us too. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Zaiwu hits that shot, but what another? I mean, dude, if if it's just gonna be Kyojin and Grim popping off with deags all match long, I'll, I'm fine with that. Let's go. Someone up the level and bar it. Get an R8 instead. Oh, dude. we The troll plays. It does make me wish that we could see the R8 and play, though, because it's such a sick pistol and it sounds so they good. They need but... to remove it from the Deagle slot. Yeah, they need exactly. to make it its own thing. I don't, I, I don't see any reason why it should be the other way. Exactly. Well, Grim has gone down. The Masuta will find him. Obviously, in terms of the economy and everything else, you guys all know this, but they need to win this round, Vitality. They've, they've lost four in a row. They finally win one. Need to keep that streak going and preferably keep the rifles alive. That is dangerous. And Fallen will come through with a scout. But don't give it back to him. Look at Shox and Masuta. They're already tagged up. And they get a bomb plant in this eco round, Anders. That's so important for Team Liquid's economy going forward. This is actually a yep. huge win for their round. They've gotten two kills and a bomb plant out of this. Anything more for Liquid would be tremendous. How much can the scout do? He's going to get one more shot on Masuta. And like I said, all he has to do is land some bullets with a Glock, and that scout could do the rest of it. Hiding back here, there's another tag. Saiwu, he gets the return kill, but Fallen, he's got the lineup. He's going to get the shot as well now. He's not defusing inside of the smoke. Two seconds left. He can't find it with the Glock. Even all the bullets expended. He's going to no scope him at the end. It's a wonderful finish for Fallen. Oh, we've got uh, we've got all the water already stocked up now seventh round is going to be coming oh. up it's Saiwu with big openings in the middle from that m4a1 oh wow i close. thought he had it oh that is so close all right Saiwu's at it again third kill in the round uh, this round just exploded for liquid i have no uh, they just lost the round in 10 seconds everywhere double kill as well ramp and palace the a push just completely annihilated at the same time when liquid are trying to bring it back now you got fallen alone out here He's gonna hear those steps, so he knows that something's amiss. I really, I am really starting to feel like I'm not really complaining. I don't mind the M4A1. It's not that I think it's it's super overpowered, but it's actually changed the game a lot now because of how much you can run and shoot with it. Yes. I feel like people underestimate because normally when when someone takes a wide swing, let's say you're holding an angle with an AWP and someone is swinging wide against you, normally at one point, they sort of have to crouch into a fight if they have an M4A4 or an AK. Sure. But it feels like with the M4A1, sometimes a wide swing just becomes sort of almost like, a, I'm swinging wide, but I'm just not sure going to shoot you at the same time. I actually, you know, it's just, it's really wild. So you almost have to sort of like recalibrate how you think about some of these rounds. Quad kill for Saibu. Not going to be any more for Fallen that round, so four to three. They can't save the AWP, though. That's the important thing. Fallen, Fallen, Fallen dies just a little bit out of range. But yeah, here we go. So I would just immediately into the spray. The other thing is it's got a, such a tight spray pattern. True. You can take those long-range fights in this manner and just obliterate everybody because of that damage spike. So the A1S is really strong now after the recent uh, update. 
And uh, well, we're just seeing that everybody's kind of shifted over to it. It's actually the exception now to see an A4 in play instead of the A1S. And, yeah. Uh, you know, knew it all along, Anders. Just I'm glad that everybody else is catching up now. Eventually, winter, winter is coming, whatever it is. It's been the way. Samuel is always right eventually. Indeed. I have to. <laughs> I'm like a broken clock. <laughs> it's way long enough. <laughs> eventually, eventually, I will be right. <laughs> just oh, wait. man. Just wait. Theogen has gone down at the beginning here. It's a pretty tight game right now. Four to three in favor of Liquid. They are considered the underdogs coming into this game, but four rounds on the T side already. They've got uh, the economy looking a little bit tough on the on the CT oh. side. So if they can keep winning, keep getting the kills in these rounds, it should make a pretty big difference. Four on four right now. Holy sh dude, look at this aggression from Apex. He re-pushes. So he lets Stewie see him go back yep. in the connector and then he comes back out again. Stewie never expected that aggression. That's so sick from Apex. Realizing that this was an eco round, they're just not showing any respect now, Vitality. Especially now that you've eliminated the AWP. Eliminated the AWP. Just get in here and fight him. Yeah, he's waiting. He's got his teammate coming in as well. It's a really good idea. And they're going to be... Oh, well, they oh. should have been able to trade that right away. That is a little bit swampy. Probably should have been a, a, a straight re-kill there. But instead, Naf trying to back on out. He's going to get the bomb. 30 seconds. Might actually be worth saving the AWP here. They can't rebuy it in the next round, so I doubt he's going to be able to do much in terms of uh, of actually winning the round. Dude, he's faking it, is he? No. He did, but... Um, is that the smoke down on A? Zawu, does he hear this footstep? If, I mean, there's no way. There's no way he's going to win this fight. Misuda has to kill him here. Yeah, he will as well. Knife's out. I don't mind that. I think it's all fine. You have to make a bunch of assumptions of your knife. I think he was playing that the only way probably that he could have. So fair enough. I don't even think he had the time to plant. To no, it doesn't seem like it, does it? So it's just, you know, you're just kind of going through it. But I really like this re-aggression from Apex. That is such a power play. That is really cool to see from him. You know yep, what? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just need to go to Apex every time, please. It's so perfect. You know, we're talking about writing French Counter-Strike history, but I mean, Apex could have a whole chapter on that on his own because I, I really still am impressed by the fact that he started his career as, as the entry fragger, which uh -huh. seems like somewhat of a, I don't want to say mindless role necessarily, but you are someone that's thrown in first, and then and then it is not clear that you could have ever transitioned into being a leader or anything else. And like he's evolved so much in his game, it's actually really impressive. It is. It's a, it's a legendary performance yeah. by Apex. Just whatever the team needs, he does. He is the true professional. It's amazing. Uh, and he talks a lot. He, there, there's, you know, he talks a lot about it in interviews. It's really good to listen to. He's well aware of what he needs to work on, and what the team needs. But here we're gonna get the pop out from uh, the apartments. Liquid need to manage to make it onto this bomb site. Misuda with two kills. So crisp on that second headshot. He goes for more without reloading, and Elish will just barely take him down, surviving on seven health. There's gonna be a lot of Molotovs into the market, and Apex. He can't escape Elise. That's some great spree. And with only seven health to get that second kill, super important. Kyojin and, and, and Saibu in here, I wonder if it's worth going for. It's a 2 on 3 but how do you actually get it? Oh, the carronade. Yeah, that's going to blow up Elise. Is it going to trick oh. them into it? That was the opportunity, wasn't it? Oh, he almost had it. Maybe could have done it. He's going to get the kill anyway on Stewie. And now it's Naf on his own. He's going to get overwhelmed. What an incredible retake for Vitality. Dude, he wall bangs him through Kyojin. He yep. shoots through his teammate to get that kill. Whatever it takes, you know? That's so sick. Uh, I think your original call is good. Yes. Oh, cool. Yeah. We can hear the players, too. Which one? Oh, I love uh, it. Just go, like, slate, uh, just go, like top yeah. mid, like, two top mid good. and two under. Because I think that we really need to take mid. It's, like, putting a lot of pressure on us. There we go. Fair enough. Really got to take mid. I don't think that that's uh, intended, but uh, I'm really appreciating where that mic is positioned right now. So thank you very <laughs> much, guys. Good, uh, good work on that. Uh, well, let's see if Liquid are going to be able to take mid here, if they're going to be able to find that fight. Double up on the on the CT side. So if you combine that with the idea that Liquid might want to put some pressure on middle, I mean, that's something that this map is so well known for. It's really yeah. hard to open middle because you are going to get grenaded everywhere. Indeed, indeed. It's always been pretty reliably taking these fights. And here it is again, putting himself... Oh, Shoxy putting himself in a position based off a of spawn by the looks of it because Zywoo's now joined him on short. So they've got the one-two combination here. <laughs> Both AWPs in play in mid. So Vitality also aware of what could be happening. Nice shot from Shox. He's going to be able to get out of here as well. And now Zywoo in position. Doesn't even back off, dude. He's so confident. Hey, he's just so confident. He yeah. doesn't need to fall back at that point. He knows he's going to win that fight if he gets it. Double up middle like that feels like, you know, like the castle is on a chessboard or something. Yeah. Just you know, covering each other. 
it's even so flashed. Brutal. Yeah, it's very, very hard to deal with. And, it, and they were playing in front of the grenades. You notice that that liquid were throwing down. Liquid were molotoving. Obviously, smoke in the window. Everyone does that all the time, no matter what. But they were also molotoving the connector. They already smoked that off. They were just in front of everything. Flashbang. It actually did not even hit shocks, but Elish just has the perfect peak against that position. And it's going to be a two on four. And this is where Vitality just need to hold on to the rest of the rifles here as much as they can. Oh, Naf, though. He is on point. Again, another perfect peak. He peeks so that Sai has to actually swing against him. And then he's just on point with the AK. Naf is turning up to play right now. Yeah, this is where it's, you get involved in that meta where it's like trying to make up your mind. Are you going for the jiggle peak or are you going for the wide swing? And instead of going for even the slightest jiggle peak, he's just like wide swing around the corner. No way. Oh, Elish knows that he's on the bomb side as well. This is it. But there is a crossfire established. Still, Naf there to help out. Elish on point gives away his position. They're turning it around. Elish, he's going to get that kill. Mr. Therese just there in time. Otherwise, that was nearly a two on four. That was won by Liquid. But instead, Mesuta, right place, right time to save his team. Absolutely huge. That, that's actually a concerning... I mean, it's a round one for Vitality, but not in a confidence-inspiring way. That's the, that's the kind of round where you think, how did they get to this? Oh, so frustrating. Yep. Elysian Naf, though, those are the last two that you want alive, essentially, for Liquid, the two heavy hitters for the team. So if you can put them together, it's, there's so much firepower that anything is possible. Again, though, with the early aggression into mid here from Vitality, Zaiwu setting up the one way. And it's going to work. Gets one kill and a second as well. Top of mid barely gets the job done. But that's a double, and it sets it up for Shoxi to get a third. Wow, they're getting slaughtered in this round. It's going to be a seventh for Vitality. Yeah, incredibly well done. Allez, parlez un peu plus, les gars. All right. I'm not quite hearing it. We'll get them. We'll get them next time. We've got. We're covering a fairly, a fairly, you know, a fairly broad sort of range of languages here. Anything in French? In I've got you. Know? Swedish, we got covered. English, we've got covered. Danish, Danish you're yeah. good. We could do a you lot. Can even do a bit of German. So. I could do a bit of German. Yeah. Dude, Anders, that's that's it. We've got everything. We've got it all. No, the the Russian, Ukrainian, and Navi. That's going to be. Well, we know a, a couple of the key words. I think we could kind of you know go from there, right? True. <laughs> True. We can build on. <laughs> it's it's going to be fine. Tremendous uh, round there for Vitality. That's the kind of round that they were looking for. It means they've won, what, seven in a row? I actually forgot about that. Liquid won four in a row to begin with, and Vitality, even though they've been struggling, because it's been a bunch of 2v2s, but they've won all of them. It's pretty impressive. <laughs> it's crazy if you think about it, because these have been some very close rounds, and it's been Vitality playing very aggressive this entire time as well, not wanting Liquid to get comfortable. And there's the opening kill once again, Shoxy coming up with the goods. 11 kills for him. And Saiwu through the smoke, just guns him down. This is getting a little awkward though. Just a little bit once again, <laughs> costing them more than maybe you would have hoped for here. Naf and Elish back at it again. Kyojin can't see anything. He's got the tech nine out. <laughs> Knives are out. What is happening on the ramp? <laughs> Looking for the knife. How <laughs> awkward. I legit thought that Kyojin was going to go for the flying knife there, though. That's I'm a little bit disappointed. Yeah, but he doesn't have that content mindset like Naf does. You know, he's like, Naf was thinking, you know what? I'm going to die anyway. I might as well <laughs> make this a highlight. There you possible. Go. Eight in a row for Vitality. Oh, yeah, Liquid right now. Talk about frustrating when you realize what it is that you need to be making adjustments for, right? How they need to refocus up on mid, and then you just get blasted in the face repeatedly because Vitality are also going for early aggression in mid, just like this. Apex, early pressure there. That spray into top mid, it's so annoying for Liquid as they try to make their way across. They don't get tagged, but it's putting them on notice, and it means that they have to slow play it. Instead of trying to charge, they have to be worried about Vitality being around here somewhere. Yeah, and like we heard earlier, one of the things that Liquid kind of wanted to accomplish was trying to get that top mid and mid control in general, and that's been that's been hard to come by. Oh, okay, so are we going back into an A execute here, it looks like? Leaving a liege alone in middle? Yeah, you could. Why not? Have him put on some pressure. Actually, he's going to run away. I, I, I love it when you have that, that one lurking mid player, because when they rotate in from the B-bomb side, if they choose to go through middle, sometimes you can catch them there as well. It's going to be a lot of people in, a, in apartments. This is going to get spicy real fast here. Kyojin, uh, unfortunately for him, as soon as this smoke clears, he's going to be caught in a crossfire, and it gets real awkward for him real fast. Throw the nades first. Saiwu finding his 18th kill right there, and they're going to get slaughtered, even with the Molotov on top. He's doing everything. This is looking crisp right now. And again... <laughs> 
What is going on? I can't. I love it. I love it. Oh, I love it, Bex. Never stop playing, no. please. The day he retires is going to be a sad day for Tower Smith. <laughs> He's so unreasonable, Cywood. So cool. <laughs> oh. Yeah. And he gets the molly kill and ramp that kept Kyojin alive. Uh, you know, Kyojin's a dead man 100% if Zaiwu doesn't time that molly right as the smoke clears. That could not have been gone better. We could probably justify having an Apex cam that's always on him live. Like, He's... you know, you have the player cam at the center, but like just one in the corner somewhere that just is Apex all the time. The dude is just feeling it. Yeah, it's great. He's... No, but that's, that's, that's the, what you, oh, there's a gap there. Zaiwu knew. You, you can't sneak anything by him. He's out of control. He just can't be stopped here. 20 kills in 13, 14 rounds. That's pretty much what he's clocking in at. Gonna hit more. Doesn't seem to miss anything. Grim and Naf trying to stay alive. <laughs> he's killing them all somehow. I believed briefly, Anders, at the beginning when there was four rounds in a row for Liquid. I was like, wow, okay then. We're cooking with gas. That's what I thought. I was and, like, this is sick. And then the Vitality were just like, ah, and enough of that. <laughs> Zywoo in particular now. It's also because in the next six rounds that they win Vitality, uh -huh. there's one of them where everyone is alive, but otherwise every single one is a two on two or worse. So so, so basically five out of six rounds that they win in, in this streak Vitality are all really close clutches. That's also why it felt like, oh, Liquid is doing really well. This They could turn it around any minute now, but then Tyra's like, no, you cannot. Would <laughs> you not? Well, I won't allow it. You That's can't win any more rounds. The struggle is once it starts getting hard, like once it once it starts going against you and you miss shots, how do you get back into it if you're not a team, right? If you're not kind of looking out for each other. Yeah. Um, that's gonna be the main thing, because then it's just the ooh, this is this is awkward. And they caught heard that? Yeah, gets that shot. Good job. They also caught Simon in a, in a bit of a an awkward transition back into jungle or window there. Misuto is going to find one of them. It's a 2 on 3 that they really should be winning here. Liquid, a chance for a fifth round. Could make a huge difference coming into the second half. If they can win this round, win the pistol, suddenly it is looking a little bit better. So, Smoke is up on the bomb, and Shox is going to find a kill. Can they go for that Smoke defuse once again? They already did it the one time. Grim is going to get the kill, and now Shox, yeah, he's going to be found by Liege. It's a 10 to single round at the end. Not quite good enough for Liquid. They need to do a lot better here. They probably need to win this pistol round. Zawu decided uh, that was enough uh, shenanigans. I'm very curious to oh. see uh, if Elise is going to get another chance to pop off here. Because funnily enough, Elise was the top performer in pistol rounds at the Major. Oh, yeah. That's so, a good point. And we saw it here. Four kills on the first uh, pistol round. So now, can you do it again? Fallen's in good position. But only the one headshot. There was a chance for a second one. There's Grim showing up. Close range. The bomb awkwardly dropped on top of the box. They could probably just pick it up. But want to be careful at any rate. Grim really fighting at all angles. Where's the backup? Where are his teammates? Just not even showing up. And that's a running, strafing <laughs> headshot from Apex. That's disgusting. And Naf is going to be in a one versus three. He's been playing really well so far in the first half. But Saibu has been playing better than everyone. And that was his 23rd kill right there. I'm sorry, Elise. I, I cursed you. That I know. Was, uh, that was so filthy from Apex there. The running headshot is just so brutal when it happens like that. You don't even get a chance. You just get insta-gibbed. It's a shame that we've never managed to uh, to monetize on the whole cast of curse thing. I think we could make some good deals with the players beforehand, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could have been, a, could have been an angle there, Anders. Definitely. Um, I'll take 5% winnings for saying Saiwu is going to win every single round. And then <laughs> see what happens. The thing is, I was just so indomitable. Dude. He's got 143 ADR right now. I know. It's out of control. He's just like, you know, he just decided after the first four rounds to say enough is enough and uh, no more fun for you, Liquid. We're not actually going to draw this out and turn it into a real map. We are going to blast you. And keep in mind, this is Liquid's map pick as well, which is why I was a little skeptical going into it. You did like, say okay, that, yeah. Then, you know, Liquid go in Mirage. Maybe they know something we don't. But uh, that's a, an incredible that's improvised run boost. Yeah. Same as you could do on Inferno running to the B-bomb side. I often sometimes wonder if, if, if that's something you could actually practice mm. to, to, you know, not just have it happen randomly, but really set it up. I mean, it'd be a little bit absurd thing to spend your time on, but it would be fun. Here we go, onto the A-bomb site. Stewie and Fallen standing tall right now, trying to see if they can get a bit more. Grim is there, and they finally get the kill on Saibu. That's a, that's a huge step in the right direction. Misutra and Shox should not have a chance in this round. They're kind of locked in. Naf is already behind them, so yeah, deep breath right now on Liquid. Make sure to communicate and, and don't give any chance here to get back.
Very cool discipline being displayed here by Grim. That yeah. is so well played. He doesn't peek. He forces the use of utility. He doesn't care about using his smoke because his teammates are now in. in the, it's more important that he stays alive on that bomb site. Yeah. Naf trying to close the door on him. Long spray from him, and he gets both kills. Well done by Naf. And Liquid, man, that was way too close for comfort. It definitely was. Uh, but finally, a chance here. Third round, actually, the pickup's not bad. But Grim, yeah, I mean, I really. Credit where credit is due. Grim staying alive on that bomb site is so important for Liquid at that point. It forces Vitality back, and True. that is really well played on his part. Great discipline put on display there by the young gun. So good on him. Hard position to play. He was playing in the pistol round two, trying to <laughs> dance back and forth. Definitely not a, a cool position to be in, but yeah, he did real well. They've got Eagles on Saibu and Kyojin, AKs on the rest. Shocks able to control the burst well enough, but he's going to get counter peaked immediately. The rest of them being held back. I wonder if they didn't want to go as that was happening in the middle, but they kind of couldn't because of the Molotov. It's going to be straight on down to the A bomb site and a four on four. Good chance for a bomb plant right now for Vitality. Without a doubt. Elise is going to try and quickly rotate open, and um, they are going to try and get in here, Liquid. They still have the firepower necessary to make this retake happen, and they're quick in because the bomb has only just been planted. But look at this long game coming in here from Apex. He was thinking about rotating into mid. Looks like he's going to post up instead with the rest of his teammates. Now it's awkward. Misuta with that headshot. Four versus three. Saibu's going to be running out there, trying to get close with the Deagle, but not quite. Oh, that is beautiful. What a transfer from Misuta. And it's a one-on-one. -on -one. They're both low on health. He just has to try and stay alive a little longer. There is a kit on Elise, and he's going to find it right then and there. Goes straight for it, and I think he'll just have enough time. It is cutting it real close at the end, but Elise will survive on one health with a quad kill and get a seventh round for Liquid. Yeah, there you go. Star player stepping up, but what a spray transfer from Misuda. I hope we have that on replay, because that was sick. That's exactly what I want to see from the young gun as well here, dude. <laughs> that is so good. But here it is, Misuda's round, clearly. That is as clean as it gets. He just, he just dragged that spray forward right into him. That was it, cool. Man. I love it. That is so cool to see. And Fallen, early peak. No. Yeah, he gets that shot and the follow-up and another one. There we go. All three gets robbed by Stewie. For shame, Stew. Using an A4 as well. <laughs> Actually, so is Elige. What's happening? Oh, wow, there's no accounting for taste sometimes, Anders, you know. It's just the way it is. Living in the past... Just don't want to let it up. One thing, uh... Oh, this is nice to here, but is this liquid actually starting to pick up some steam here? Do you think it's too early to tell, Anders? Or do you think that, uh, you know, them getting an eighth round on the board, uh, economy building, hitting shots? I mean, it's totally doable. If you if you look at the scoreboard, it's crazy. Elysian Fallen, 16, 14 kills, 12 on Grim, 13 on Naf. I mean, they, they have a, a, a great core right now that's actually outputting a lot of kills on the board. So there's no real reason why they couldn't come back in the game. And it's only a four-round gap. So I don't know about the mental side of it. That's, that's the big question that we have around Liquid right now. But in terms of the numbers, yeah, they can definitely make a, a comeback, I would say, in this second half right here. The problem... Presumably, we will be Saibu. You have to assume that's where the <laughs> that's where the it took him a couple of rounds to warm up uh, in the first half, right? So maybe, True. yeah, he just needs to get uh, the flow going. Shocksy creating some room for his teammates, throwing himself in there first, getting that opening uh, space. Misuda there to trade it, and now Kyojin trying to work the A bomb site. Stu is chiming in though. Grim is in as well, and these are some big kills coming up for Liquid. But <laughs> Apex blind. He's got Fallen's number. Oh my god, that was crazy. He's back for more out in the open. No one Stewie will find him. Pulls out the sidearm and takes him down. So 9 to 12, no bomb plant and no money on the side of Vitality. Could probably justify going for some more deagles. But outside of that, I expect them to be laying low for a bit there. Well, Stewie has certainly come alive in this uh, second half. Good to see. He's had a few uh, solid rounds, puts him in double digits on the kills. He had a really quiet first half. So hoping to see a little bit more there out of... Uh, Young Stu. He's such a veteran now. Do we get to keep calling him I was, Young Stu? I was just about to say, how long do we keep that up? Yeah. He's, it just feels like he's going to be Young Stu forever, you know what I mean? But he is uh, he is maturing, although uh, he is still ripping his teammate in that interview. Not going to let that go. <laughs> Listen, I, if nothing else, I appreciate the fact that it's not boring, you know? 
to me. It makes it interesting. Well, okay, to, fair is fair. He did clarify on Twitter afterwards saying that, you know, Grim didn't always get his spots and wasn't always given the best chance to shine. So, yeah. You know, yeah. he did clarify afterwards, but still, man, brutal interviews. Sometimes you just have to say some things out loud, you know, and maybe that'll make a difference. Misuta, that's a that's oh. a good headshot. The nades are falling down. Can we have another one? Nah, Naf will take it away. That's unfortunate. It was building up into something funny there. But it's a 10 to 12 scoreline. They're really coming back into it now in a big way. Liquid, they've just won five in a row. And only one of them has, has been a bomb plant for uh, for the enemy team. So so they've been clearing them out pretty nicely. They've managed to put a bit of a, sl at least a temporary slowdown on Saibu. That's that's everything is lining up perfectly right now on the side of liquid so well done ak's across the board for vitality grim playing inside of the a-bomb site again playing that uh that triple box which is a very hard position to be in oh they try and get through but he gets the shot on kyojin perfect play brilliant work Grim is really coming alive here. Apex again, though. Apex has just come alive for his team. And there's Misuda, who's just been plugging away all of this second half. Stewie realizes somebody else is here, but he doesn't drag the spray onto him. That was awkward. Very awkward, yeah. Did he... That... What a shot! <laughs> Catches him anyway. I was going to say, Grim had actually set up a perfect kill there for, uh, for, for Stewie, right? Uh, Could have worked out just fine, but didn't quite get the transfer. Now, Apex has taken... The entire second part of the map, or the entire other part of the, heart of the map here. All the way, he's going to be catching Fallen. There's no way that he's going to check. A little bit of an awkward <laughs> spray, but it works. He's going to get him. Now it's on Naf, and Apex will go hunting and find a third kill right there. Vitality winning a round here, finally breaking the streak for Liquid. That, I don't know, I feel like because of where Grim goes down, there's no way for anyone to suspect a, a second player to be in that bomb site. So the fact that Stewie didn't get that spray round. MP9 on Grim. That's especially if you have an MP9. You should go for it. Get up in the palace. Mm, well, no. Hesitation. It's not going to happen. Instead, we're getting the run boost in mid here from Vitality. Elysian Naf showing a little bit of presence in mid early on here. Apex doesn't look like he realized that there was somebody ladder. And this is just slow stuff coming out here from Vitality now. Elige, first point of contact. Doesn't actually get the kill. Looked like there was a big opportunity. Fallen will pick off Saibu. It's a good start, but Misuta, unfazed and not feared at all. Going to be taking a kill. Naf will get the double. Triple would have probably won them the round, but now it is still in contention. Two versus two. And the bomb is awkwardly out by the catwalk. So, very odd position to be in right now if you're on the Vitality side. Yeah, they're going to use the nade to make sure they can pick up the bomb. That makes sense. Really nice coordination here, but Kyojin easy in position to put a halt to this. The headshot coming in. Apex again it is getting the instant kill. Man advantage now for Vitality. And Grim going into the retake. This is hard. He has to win this 1v1 now. But he got the first one even. That could have been the end of him right there. No bomb plan yet. Apex, he can escape. He can get out, but he's going to get the headshot instead. Good double for him. Landing his team a 14th round. That was... um. That was a really, really close one. I've got to say, Naf probably made that round possible at all by getting the, you know, the double to begin with. Could have gone down, but um, yeah, an Elige, he got the dink with the M4A1, but not the kill. Not the kill. Yeah, that's just so close. The finest of margins here. But it feels like, at least at the beginning of these halves, that's been the story, right? At the beginning of uh, the first half, it was a lot of 2v2s. And here, Vitality actually have one of those go in their way. So 14 to 10 and a full buy on the side of Vitality. Wow, interesting that Liquid decided to go for an eco round, essentially. Just a couple of digs picked up here. Yeah, they just weren't, they weren't feeling, they really didn't have a lot to work with, so I guess it's fair. I mean, Everyone! They just warmed up now. Yeah, and they're all getting a chance here at the, the bomb site. AK headshots across the board. You know, going forward for Vitality, it is actually a thing where you need to focus on Misuda and getting him as comfortable as possible because in interviews and in talks, you know, Apex is more and more saying, you know, like Misuda is a hard fragger. Misuda has that talent. And we've heard in past interviews as well where they said, you know, it's just a matter of getting him comfortable where he believes it himself, where he feels like he has the leeway to go ahead and make those plays, to play aggressive and go out there and, you know, just follow his intuition, right? Because if you're new and you're lacking experience, maybe you're kind of holding back, you're kind of hedging your bets a little bit, you're not necessarily going for the plays. But in this map, at least, it feels like we're seeing Masuda just go out there swinging and just take these fights and, and look for the duels. 
Yeah. So good to see. Well, I feel like when he was picked up as as an unknown player, really, uh, that's what we saw from him at the beginning, too. He looked really impressive, right? And then it seemed to be a, a moment there, and maybe that was just a role change on the team. It's hard to say, but it did seem like he went missing for a short while there. But yeah, if you can get that that uh, that player up and running, it would be really cool. Hire a hypnotist or something. Get him, <laughs> make him believe. Hypnotist or the performance coach. Anything. Test it out. Do both. Elige with a very important kill. Backs against the wall right now for Liquid on their map pick. We're on Mirage and yeah, they need to win five in a row. They've already uh, proven that they can do that in on the on the second side. They've already hit one five in a row on the CT side. So just do it again. Grim is pushing T-spawn. It's a huge play right now that could definitely win them the round. But life is timing and he has to hit it right in the middle or they're gonna it's gonna blow up and they'll lose the A bomb side in the meantime. Spotted Fallen as well on the site itself, so they have that information to go off of now. Vitality Stewie, he's got an off angle though. Good chance, but he doesn't capitalize on it. Misses the chance for the kill, and he goes down immediately. Not pretty here for Liquid. <laughs> so unfortunate. I think Grim, he got spotted and couldn't find the kill in the middle on Apex, so he had to now only not, they didn't, didn't get the flank in, but it's also kind of worthless because they know that he's coming. It's uh, unwinnable.